The first step in qualifying an interior wall graphic media is to identify the gloss level of the surface. This video doesn't select specific media for you. I want to give you some tips on how to properly test a wall for media compatibility. Since interior paints are available in many finishes, brands, and bases, and these combinations of gloss levels, oils, or latex in different brands are almost impossible to physically detect, it's very important to perform this simple compatibility test before starting your project. Be sure your test area is clean and conditions are typical of your planned installation. First, hinge the sample along the top. Then, peel back about half of the liner. This helps you stay in control of the vinyl, making wrinkles and stretching less likely. Then apply the sample completely. The reason I'm taking such care with this simple sample application is that any stretch in the vinyl could give skewed test results. If you have many media options, repeat the same steps with these additional samples and use the same image and printer on all of your samples so that your test data is accurate. Be sure all samples are firmly applied and tension free. Label your samples clearly for future reference. Allow the adhesives to set for a minimum of 24 hours. After 24 hours, we can see that sample 1 is down very tight. Sample 2 has lifted in the corners and along the edges. Bubbles have formed here, and the bottom edge has lifted a little. On both samples, the vinyl did not shrink. Shrinkage is detected by severe edge roll or an outline of adhesive around the edge of the graphic. Clearly, sample 1 will be our media of choice. There is no bubbling and all the edges are still down and there is no shrinkage. Remove about half of the sample carefully to see if the adhesive has made a chemical bond with the paint. If it has and large amounts of paint come off, this means that the paint was not properly cured. Now, Cut away this piece completely. Now we'll test the adhesion value of the paint to the wall by snapping the vinyl off the wall sharply. The test we are doing now demonstrates that after one to two years, this media can be removed from this painted surface without extensive damage to the wall. The small amount of paint that came off the wall is an acceptable result. Conducting a test like this takes a little time and patience from both you and your customer, but finding a compatible product for your wall wrap is worth it.